Hi, I'm Ryan with Flight Flix. I'm here to talk to you about pole mounts for 360 cameras. The 360 cameras today have become very popular and they make for some very cool camera angles that we haven't seen before. It is very important though to make sure that the cameras are mounted properly. I've seen a number of mounts using selfie sticks and different off-the-shelf devices that really aren't designed to hold up to airspeed and vibration. If you do decide to mount a 360 camera using a pole mount, make sure you're using all aluminum parts and brackets that are heavy duty. Usually on a two strut aircraft, the struts are pretty small, so to mount a pole mount to one strut really isn't secure enough. So the best thing we can do and the benefit of a two strut aircraft is using the front and the rear strut to give ourselves a nice wide base and two points of attachment. So this is our strut base with a UV resistant poly strap. And if we put one of these on the front and one on the rear strut, then we can put the pole in between them with our three quarter inch clamp. So to install this, put the rubber gasket on the back side of the uh, V block, put this in place on the strut, and then run the strap underneath the uh, cable if you have one on the aircraft, pull that tight. And then we can put the strap on the stud here and then any extra material can either be trimmed off tucked under the strap or sometimes depending on the size of the strut you can go around another time then we thread in our three quarter inch clamp and then you can align the bracket any way you want you can either have it on the bottom or the top of the strut and we go ahead and tighten that down and we put this in line with the airflow there is a uh, jam nut here. You can use a 7 16 inch wrench. And now we can go ahead and attach this one to the rear strut. Now in this case, with the smaller strut, we can actually wrap the strap around another time. And then the extra material we can go ahead and just get rid of on the stud. Install our thumb nut to secure it all and then install our three quarter inch clamp all of our rock steady mounts are made with 6061 machined aluminum so they're very heavy duty and all stainless steel hardware so they won't weather and rust this is our aluminum pole for the uh, pole mount it's three quarter inch 6061 aluminum it's thin walled so it's very lightweight but yet very rigid some of the carbon fiber poles that folks use the carbon fiber can flex which causes the camera to shake whereas the aluminum pole is very rigid and it comes in two pieces to make it more portable so we just thread the ends together similar to a pool cue we go ahead and thread that down tight to the stop Then we can install the pole. So then we just go ahead and use the hex wrench to tighten down the clamps to secure it. And a quarter 20 nylock nut is included to put on the back side of the clamps so the clamps can't come apart. And you have a very secure and rigid pole mount for your 360 camera. So the pole mount includes a stainless stud that threads directly into the end of the pole. So you thread that on and then there's a quarter 20 jam that uses a 7 16 wrench. You can tighten that up. If you're using the GoPro Max, we highly recommend using our GoPro safe case for the Max. The fold out tabs that are on the bottom of the uh, Max cameras they can break. So using an aluminum enclosure and threading it directly onto the end of the pole is the preferred way. So you can thread that on and then take the jam nut and tighten that up. Typically this is the configuration you'd see where one lens is facing the fuselage and one towards the wingtip. And then if you're using the Insta 361 X2, you can thread that directly onto the end of the pole, or we also have a metal safe case for the Insta360 1X2. And this is a all aluminum case that also has uh, power built in so you can run um, power out to your camera. At FlightFlix, we're all about promoting aviation safety. Aviation video is a great way to promote aviation and share your passion with friends and family. Just make sure you're using safe practices 
make sure you're using mounts that are all metal and safe and secure and FA compliant. Please be safe, have fun, and share your videos.